As the founder and president of Iran Alive Ministries, I want to share with you a short story. You know, we have a 24-7 broadcast into the Middle East, sharing the gospel through satellite television. So we get many calls. One day, one of our staff said, there is a young man who is calling and insisting that he would talk to you. He says he was saved at the age of 19 watching our programs, and then at, he started evangelizing. He learned from us how to evangelize, how to start churches, and he did it. At the age of 22, he had four house churches. That's when he got arrested. And they put him in jail for five years, and they tortured him. So I was thinking, what is going to ask me? Why does he insist to talk to me? Maybe he's going to say, where was God? when I was arrested? Why did he allow me to be arrested? I was serving him. And where was God when I was being tortured? And by the way, where were you, Pastor Hormuz, when I was being tortured? Here in America, telling us to evangelize, start churches, and then we get in trouble. But, but when I picked up the phone, I heard this sweet voice telling me, Pastor Hormuz, I insisted to call you in order to encourage you. What you're doing is from God. And then he said, I had the privilege, I had the honor of being tortured for Christ. He said, do you remember Psalm 23? I said, of course. He said, where it says, I have set a table before my enemies. He said, how can you experience that verse if your enemies are not there? Then he used that word again, honor. He said, I had the honor of experiencing that verse in the torture chamber. My torturers were there, but also was my sweet Jesus. I want to encourage you, continue what you're doing. And I want to encourage you. You know, Jesus does not leave his persecuted children alone. So together as the body of Christ, we can encourage and support our Christian persecuted family. God bless you.